What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to share a couple of things about the, the results from our prescribed fire a couple months ago. Uh, you're gonna have to excuse my dog Callie right here. She's a little crazy sometimes and gets uh, a little neurotic and tries to chase some things like shadows and everything like that. But anyway, um, so we burned this area back here behind me. Um, it's, a, it's a wooded section and there was nothing but bare leaves and duff uh, out here in these woods a couple of months ago and you can see how green it is and so what you can do uh, if you're not able to plant a food plot or you don't have the tools necessary to, to do so um, you can always do a, a prescribed fire burn and what it's going to do is it's going to bring up a lot of new growth and <clears throat> it's going to give a lot of great habitat for the deer turkeys as you can see we, right here we got some poke weed that's come up deer love that stuff they absolutely hammer it uh, in our neck of the woods here in South Carolina you know you'd be surprised at how much of this stuff the the wildlife feed on and it's just another good alternative to help bring on new growth um, if you're not able to implement food plots but even if you are able to implement food plots uh, prescribed fire is still very good uh, for the soil health and also to just bring up diversity. All this stuff out here is not going to be in a food plot mix. And so, uh, as a deer consumes different types of uh, plants, you know, they want a diverse mix. Me and Blake filmed a little bit of a video over at his property, and we're going to turn you over to, to him right now, and he's going to talk a little bit about uh, his results and his thoughts on prescribed fire. We burned this little area about a month ago. And it was black and now it's come back and it's green and it's got a lot of new growth coming up as you can see some of these invasives like this Bradford pear right here is absolutely roasted it's trying to put off a little bit of new growth but it definitely knocked it back and uh, as y'all can see down here on the ground there is bare dirt for the young turkeys. People wonder why they burn during nesting season for turkeys and the reason is because they might burn one nest but the, the lack of habitat is more detrimental than the loss of the nest because the hen can nest again. So they, they need the habitat more than they need that particular nest because if they don't have the habitat and a hundred nests survive and they don't have the habitat, all those poults are gonna die. But, you know, say 80 nests make it and they have the habitat, they might all make it. So, this is good turkey habitat. And as you can see, we took a bird right here this morning. And uh, it's just awesome to see the benefits of what you can do when you do things the right way. See this little area right here, see how thick it is? We, all of this got burned, but just the way the wind moves and the way fire does, it just missed this spot. And what it does is the sporadic nature of fire, it just gives cover in sporadic areas and the diversity that's there. You know, if poults are out here in this stuff where there's dirt and a hawk flies over, they can run right into there and they got cover. Or a hem can nest in there or whatever so that it hits what it needs to hit and it misses what it needs to miss. It's just, it's weird how it works, but it all works out for good. Thank y'all again for watching and we'll see y'all next time.